Hello and welcome to the news today on Procyon Radio and Television. I am Evelyn Clifford Harry. First, a look at the headlines. Nigeria Labour Congress President Ajeru brutalized by police. Judge threatens to order MFLA's arrest over debt. Nakamba to lead Zimbabwe against Super Eagles. Gambia court jailed soldier for 12 years over a coup plot. And now details of the news. The Nigerian Labour Congress has accused the police of beating up its president, Joe Ajero, after he was arrested in Imo State. The NLC's head of media and publicity, Benson Upa, said this in a statement confirming the release of Mr. Ajero. The police had said Mr. Ajero was taken into custody for his protection, but the NLC said he was brutalized after his arrest. Mr. Ajero's phones, money, and other personal effects were taken from him and have not been returned to him, according to Mr. Uja. The Senate has approved the sums of $7.8 billion and 100 million euros in President Bola Tinubu's proposed 2022-2024 borrowing plan. The President had written to the Senate requesting consideration and early approval of the 2022-2024 external borrowing plan to ensure prompt implementation of projects. The President of the Senate, Godswill Akpabu, has also announced Tinubu's request for confirmation of the nomination of the 10 resident electoral commissioners for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in accordance with the provisions of Section 154, 1 of the Constitution, with the Senate commencing their screening. The Federal High Court in Abuja has given former Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefeli, till January 25th to appear in court to explain the circumstances surrounding the $53 million judgment debt arising from the Pari Club refund. Justice Inyan Echo, in a short ruling, gave Emefeli another opportunity to appear in court in person or he would issue a warrant for his arrest. The development followed a plea by MFLA's counsel, Audu Anuga, son, that all efforts to ensure that his appearance in court had been unsuccessful as he was still in custody. In sports, Nigeria's 2026 World Cup group opponents, Zimbabwe, have announced a 28-man provisional squad ahead of their Group C qualifying games against Rwanda and the Super Eagles later this month. The squad was announced on the Zimbabwe Football Association's ex-handle. The Warriors will take on Rwanda November 15 at the Huya Stadium in Kigali, before hosting Nigeria at the same venue days later. And on the international scene, a Gambian court has sentenced a soldier to 12 years in prison for plotting a coup in West African country, which has restored democracy after 22 years of dictatorship. The court found last Corporal Sana Faderia guilty of treason, according to the judgment. While the region has faced a series of military coups since 2020, Gambia has undergone a re-establishment of democracy. Up next is the entertainment news. Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo has made fresh allegations against embattled singer Aziz Fashola, a.k.a. Nara Mali. According to her, the Malian music boss sprinkled illicit substances in her children's food and drink when they visited his house. The thespian said she had eyewitnesses. Ojo, who is one of the celebrities demanding justice for Mobad, who died after he was allegedly bullied by Nara Mali and his associate, Sam Larry, said she decided not to support the Malian music boss because of what he did to her children. And with that, we end the news today on Prussian Radio and Television. I am Evelyn Clifford Harry. You can watch us on our YouTube channel at Prussian RTV. You can also get the latest news on our website at www.prussiannews.com. Do not forget to also like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production crew, thank you for listening. Keep shining like the star you are.